Uh, my name is Saiz Black. I was uh, in the Marine Corps. Uh, I was a corporal. I'm in the military. You're just a name and a number, you know. And if I wanted to uh, go to war, I could just stay in New York. <laughs> it was like shootouts on the block all the time, you know. I've been shot at before before I even joined the military, so. Uh, I mean, so, these military guys, they sacrifice and they go through a lot, but at the end of the day, you know, they sign up, and I tell them all the time, nobody put no gun yet, nobody made you, but the majority of people go to the military because they're they poor and they want that GI Bill, you know? When I'm in Brooklyn, I see big Marine Corps banners and this, that, and, and you know, I, it makes me proud because I'm, I'm still a Marine at heart, but when I go to other neighborhoods, when I'm in Delmar, when I'm in Long Island, and I don't see any, I don't see a recruiter, you know what I mean? So they... They, they uh, cater to the poor and unfortunate to go fight these wars. Because you look at when Michael Moore went to the senators and asked, you know, I try to find out how many of these congressmen, how many of their kids are serving. they like, you know, they don't have to serve because we got money, pretty much. It's very hard to go over there knowing that you're fighting for some BS, to be honest. When the truth is, you know, me being in the military, I know they're upset. They're away from their home. They're away from their kids. You have, you have women that stand by, you have women that are cheating on you. You know, you, you hear these reports of people from the Army coming home and killing their wives and people saying, you know, oh, he's uh, uh, post-traumatic stress and all that stuff. Nine times out of ten, she was unfaithful. <laughs> you know what I mean? She might have deserved that bullet. You know what I mean? Because I've heard, I've heard, I've heard bad stories, to be honest. There was a guy there. He, he just basically snapped. And... We had to put him on suicide watch. Basically, he threatened, you know, to do a full metal jacket and shoot us up. You know what I mean? So they had to take his rifle from him. You know what I mean? He tried to sneak around a bunch of bullets from the from the firing range. Man, that was a scary thing, man. Knowing that this dude, you know, he wanted to kill everybody and kill himself, man. This dude was wrong with him, man. Uh, so my whole thing is, no matter what. You know, if you grew up poor or whatever, they don't use it as a crutch and you can you can do anything, you know what I mean? It won't be easy, you know, it won't be easy, but you can strive for better. You know, the dream is only day when you give up on it. And travel, see the world, man. It's a big world, Dave.